Welcome back. The East Mountain Celebration is making its return. This year's event will spotlight fire safety and awareness and first responder appreciation, offering a day filled with family friendly activities that celebrate community safety and honor the vital contributions of first responders. We are joined this morning by Augustine Montoya, who is the executive officer to the commission to tell us more. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me yeah. today, Stephanie. Thank you so much for being here this morning. What can people expect from this event? So the East Mountain Celebration this year is going to be focused on first responder appreciation as well as fire preparedness. You can expect live entertainment from the Cynical Bird Band and dance performances from the um, On Point Dance Studio. And when is it? It is going to be September 22nd. That's okay. going to be this Sunday. And tell us a little bit about last year's event and how this one's just a little bit different. Absolutely. So last year we focused our attention on the solar eclipse that was happening that year. And this year we're taking a bit of a different spin. We want to focus on an issue that's important to these mountain communities, and that's fire safety and first responder appreciation. And how is this event really celebrating the community as well? So we're bringing all the community together. You know, out in the East Mountains, we kind of like living in our rural way of life. And so any opportunity we get to come together is a celebration of our community. So what we're doing is we're bringing together vendors and celebrating our main street economies at this event. What kinds of vendors can people expect? You can expect jewelry vendors, you can expect artisan vendors, you can expect local businesses okay. in the community. Food? Yes, ma'am. Okay, of course. Wouldn't be a celebration without some food. Um, like you mentioned, there is a big focus on safety. Why is that something that you guys wanted to prioritize this year? We want to prioritize it because here at Bernalillo County and in the office of Bernalillo County Commissioner, we really want to pay it forward to the people who protect lives. And what's the parking situation going to be like at the event? So you can park at East Mountain High School and there will be a shuttle service both from there and San Antonio Middle School. Okay, and for more information, where can our viewers go? You can go to the Bernalillo County website at, at the District 5 website as well. Okay, perfect. Again, Sunday, September 22nd. You guys don't want to miss it. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. Thank you so much, Augustine, for being here this Thank morning. Thank you so much for having me, Stephanie.